Hi fellow Webflowers, in this video I'm going to show you how to use custom CSS transitions in your project to go beyond the possibilities of the Webflow designer. To demonstrate you the power I will have two practical examples. This button animation, this card animation. So let's get into it. The first question is why you should use custom CSS transitions when you actually can do the same with a Webflow animation. The answer is, the animations are done with jQuery while a CSS transition is handled by CSS. Unless you're using massive CSS animations with dozens of keyframes and so on, this helps to keep your website performant. And second, in my opinion, CSS transitions are often more scalable when you want to reuse them on multiple objects. And by the way, if you want to become one of the top-notch developers, then subscribe to my channel. I publish weekly new content around Webflow, Figma, and creative business. But enough small talk, let's start with the practical examples. So as you can see, my button consists of three parts. It's the button itself, it's the button text, and it's another div that is the button background. And up here, I've just in a comment my classes so I don't have to jump forth and back um, between Webflow and here this code sandbox. Um, the first thing I did is I gave this button background and transform translate y epsilon 100% epsilon to uh, move it 100% down um, from the button. So if I delete this and save and refresh, you can see it will um, cover the entire text. So let's put it in again and refresh. And the next thing I'm going to do is um, the first transition for it and while I'm hovering over the button. So uh, for this I write my button class and I want to hover this one and my class button, button background and when I hover I want an transform translate epsilon um, back to zero. And when I save this and go here, you can see it happens, but it happens instantly. So what we need is a transition. And the transi transition is important that you don't do it uh, on this hover state. You always have to do it on the base state. So on this one, so, and for transition, you write uh, transition. And now you can tell uh, transition all to animate everything, but um, we want just to animate the transform. So we write transform, then we give it a timing of 300 milliseconds. And you could also use like 0 0.3 seconds here uh, or 0.3 seconds if you're fancy, but um, I like to go with millisecond seconds and an easing. You can see there's different easings, ease, ease in, ease in out, and ease out. Let's use ease in. I save this, refresh. And now when I hover, you can see it is moving. And now I want to customize the easing. For this, I select um, my button backgrounds and here I can see the ease and if I click now on this little symbol here I get this graph and yeah I can do something more fancy here something like this maybe and you even can see a preview here very nice and now it automatically generated the cubic Bezier curves for you I can copy this here close the code editor and replace this uh, easing with that. Save it. And now you can see I have a nice easing, but what I still need is a um, overflow on the button. And also we have to put the background with set index to uh, behind the text. So what I'm going to do is use my button class use overflow hidden on this one. And by the way, 
stuff like this, the overflow hidden settings, the Z index settings and stuff like this, you can do that in Webflow. You don't have to do that in custom code. You can just actually do this part here in custom code. I do it here so I don't have to jump forth and back uh, between the Webflow designer and this view here. So it's just more comfortable for you to, to watch the video. So let's save that. And now you can see it's already um, working. Let's add the Z index, minus one. And we also need the, the button text. We have to give it a Z index of one. And now you can see the background is behind the button. So now let's take care about the um, letters. They should turn black. So here we have the button text already. And again, I do the button hover and now the button text. And here we use a color. Let's use an almost black value. And I'm going to copy this uh, transition here put it here and uh, no, that's wrong. Sorry. We have to put it here, always on the base. And we have to replace this transform here with color. Now you can see the color turns black. Wonderful. And the last thing I want to do is the border of the button. So Let's copy my transition here as well. And um, let's write border color. Then this is already done. And again, use the button hover. And this time we are targeting the button itself. So no child. Um, this is a selector to select the child uh, because the button text is a child of the button. And But this time only the button and this is enough. And now we are using the border color. And so here's my background color. And you can see it's working. So let's get to this card. Here we have the card layout. And on hover, we want this image to zoom in a little bit. Uh, we want to turn this arrow by uh, 45 degrees and change its color. And here again, I just have my um, classes and comments. And let's start. Again, the base settings, you don't have to do them in custom code. You can just do the um, transition classes in custom code. I do it here so you can follow me without switching uh, between the Webflow designer and here forth and back. And so we start with the card image. By default, uh, I want it to be um, a little bit scaled, transform scale 1.1 so now you can see if i refresh oops it's now zoomed a little bit and when i hover on the card so we are targeting here the card and uh, we are targeting the hover of the card and now i want to animate the child of it only the card image and We want to change the scale to uh, one. And you can see when I'm doing this, it's happening instantly. Again, we have to add our uh, transition. So transition and we could target all, but let's be specific. We only want to target um, this transform value. If you write scale, it doesn't work. You have to uh, always target the one that stands here um, in front of it, <laughs> so the transform. So transform, let's use 400 milliseconds and uh, now let's use ease in out. And uh, now you can see if I refresh, I already have an animation here. And sometimes animations, they can look not that nice and there's uh, one little trick you can use. 
um, there's a CSS property called will change. And here you can write what is changing in your animation. So our transform, so like this. And now when I refresh the animation, in some cases, it can look a little bit smoother. Yeah. So the next thing is the arrow I uh, want to animate. So again, I am targeting my card. When I hover the card, then I want to change my uh, card icon. And what I want to do is I uh, want to turn it. Uh, we do this also with a transform, but this time with rotate and I'm going to rotate it by 45 degrees. That should do it. So let's test it. When I refresh, you can see and I hover this um, arrow is turning, but again, it's happening instantly. So what I need to do is I need to um, give the card icon a transition. Let's just copy this one and maybe make it a little bit longer. Okay, this is too long. Let's stay with 400. Hmm, even faster. Let's change the easing to ease out. Let's make it 200 milliseconds. Yeah, that's that's okay for me. So, and the last thing I want to change is the color. Uh, this is an SVG icon. It's um, placed in an embed and I use the current color method here. So um, in the SVG code, there is no color defined. There where the color is defined, it stands current color. Um, because when I do this, I can just uh, give this element a text color and it will take the text color. So what I can now animate here is the text color. Um, so let's give it a color here. So now you can see the color is changing, but actually the, the color swap happens instantly. And what you can do now is uh, give it all. So now it's also animating um, the color, but instead you can also um, leave here the transform, then go here, give it a comma, and now type another one, the color, and let's give this one 300 milliseconds and ease out. And by separating this uh, with a comma, comma uh, you can uh, use multiple uh, transitions in, in one line. So as you can see, the possibilities of custom CSS transitions in Webflow are huge. And by the way, if you also offer UI design to your clients and you want to know nine simple rules to boost your design skills, then you should watch this video now. Thanks for watching and as always, stay in the flow.